Let us bow in prayer. Our gracious God and Father, we come before you as your people in this Advent season to celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And as we do so, we ask you to live in us. We ask you, God, to strengthen us, to teach us how to think, and to draw us more intimately to you, especially in this season of the year. We thank you for your great gift of love and for the sacrifice of Christ, who made redemption, salvation, and justification all possible through his great work of atonement. And so we ask you to continue to work in us and to teach us, even as you taught your disciples when you taught them to pray these words. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Our Old Testament reading comes from Psalm 66, verses 1 through 7. Shout joyfully to God, all the earth. Sing the glory of his name. Make his praises glorious. Say to God, how awesome are your works because of the greatness of your power. Your enemies will give feigned obedience to you. All the earth will worship you and will sing praises to you. They will sing praises to your name, Selah. Come and see the works of God, who is awesome in his deeds toward the sons of men. He turned the sea into dry land. They passed through the river on foot. There let us rejoice in him. He rules his might forever. His eyes keep watch on the nations, let not the rebellious exalt themselves. Sail. Our New Testament text comes from Peter's first letter, chapter 1, verses 3 through 9. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to his great mercy has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to obtain an inheritance which is imperishable and undefiled and will not fade away, reserved in heaven for you. You who are protected by the power of God through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time, in this you greatly rejoice, even though now, for a little while, if necessary, you have been distressed by various trials so that the proof of your faith being more precious than gold, which is perishable, even though tested by fire, may be found to result in praise and glory and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ. And though you have not seen him, you love him. And though you did not see him now, but believe in him, you greatly rejoice with joy, inexpressible and full of glory obtaining the same outcome of your faith and salvation of your souls. Today we light the third candle of the Advent season. It is the candle of joy. We openly acknowledge the ultimate joy in this life that can only be found in the person of Jesus Christ, our risen Lord and Savior. In this blessed season, we recall the words of that old familiar hymn, Joyful, joyful, we adore thee, God of glory, Lord of life. In this very special Christmas season, our hearts yearn to be filled with the joy that only Jesus can bring to our hearts and our lives.
It's Advent season at Trinity Church. Every year we light four candles on the four Sundays of Advent. The first one is for hope. The second one is for peace. The third one is for joy. And the fourth one is for love. And then that takes us to Christmas Eve. And in Christmas Eve we light the center candle, which is the Christ candle, the light. Jesus is the light of the world. Those who follow him will not walk in darkness. But if we don't put our hope and our trust in Jesus Christ, we cannot find peace in our lives. And we can have peace even in the midst of a pandemic, a global war, even in the midst of very serious questions about the truth in our world. We can still have peace because we have placed our hope and our trust in Jesus Christ. That peace produces a joy that is unspeakable and undescribable. And joy is not just an emotion, it is more than an emotion. It is that sustenance that keeps us going. And then with that joy we can express the love of Christ to those around us because the love of Christ comes into our heart just as God has loved us sacrificially, unconditionally, and unmeasurably. Ultimately, we rejoice on that Christmas Eve night. That night, Jesus was born. He became flesh. God took on humanity to give us the perfect example to live by and also so that he could be that ultimate sacrifice for our sins. When we understand Advent, and we see why we do what we do, then we can really truly know the plan of salvation and understand how we can live in the love of God and in the light of Jesus Christ, his Son. May God bless you richly during this Advent season.